So hi there. My name is Zachary. And if you're watching this, I'm not actually here. It sounds strange, I know, just bear with me for a second. You see, I'm actually in Panama right now, and I'll be there until Sunday. Which, as exciting as that is, still sucks, because I can't really make videos for you. I didn't tell you guys, but I left actually, uh, Saturday. So I got the fabulous and gorgeous Courtney Dax to upload this video for me. Hello, fabulous and gorgeous Courtney Dax. Today we're talking about conversation traps. Have you ever noticed when you get into conversation with someone and suddenly you realize that you can't talk about a certain thing. My great aunt, I think she's in her 90s. Sweet woman, she has Alzheimer's. But I swear the last five conversations I've had with her have all been exactly the same, like word for word. But that's not really what we're talking about. I have another friend where you can't mention anything about relationships whatsoever, otherwise she goes under this giant rant about her ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Weird little fact, I don't bruise. I can't think of a single time when I've had a bruise. A conversation trap for me, well, for other people talking to me, is when people mention bruises. Because then I immediately say after them, oh, did you know I don't bruise? And the first time I say it, they're like, oh, that's really, really cool, you've never bruised before? Two days later, I'm in a conversation with the same people, and the topic that someone has a bruise comes up. And then of course, me being the person I am, say, oh, you have a bruise? Wow, I've never had a bruise before. Except for this time, I forget that no, all the people in the conversation have already heard me, and then I ramble the same exact thing over about how I've never had a bruise. I'm sure you guys have conversation traps, or you guys have friends that have conversation traps. Yes, so I think that's all. Which means I'm gonna go. Not probably, I really am going. Bye guys.